there is a problem that the government is uh, tackling. Uh, it is the sentiment that, uh, like you rightly said, the sentiment of these assets being crown jewels and the opposition is somehow harboring on that sentiment. How, to what degree do you think uh, this sentiment actually is re resonated with the common man? Uh, or do you think uh, the general public actually supports such, uh, uh, such forms of privatization? See, the, uh, there is one absolute problem that I think I would personally have with the way, uh, or, with, or with the way, uh, unfortunately, we have our, our uh, opposition parties in place, right? Because initially they had a problem with demonetization. Now, I have the, now they have a problem with monetization. My question to them is, as, as, as a startup founder, very practically thinking, right? I'm, I myself am an entrepreneur. Opposition is great. And the reason opposition needs to exist is to still drive the guys in power towards a common goal. And that common goal needs to be the development of the country. Right. Right? Development of the nation, for our people, etc. Not coming in and making, uh, making uh, blatant political statements. What I would still like to hear from the opposition party is to come out and say, right, you guys are doing these things, but there could be, say, X, Y, Z pitfalls. Because mm -hmm. no plan is flawless. It has never been. Right? It, it, right? If we, and I, I'm saying this as an entrepreneur, as a person running a company, that when we, uh, when we uh, say, make POCs, MVPs, POCs are proof concepts, or MVPs are uh, minimum viable products, right? Uh, the whole idea is to test something out, test out the theory, and then start scaling it. And if we do this at such a small scale for a company, this is this is the world's largest democracy we're talking. And if and if the government has the to actually attempt something like that, I would expect the rest of the country and the rest of the and the opposition to actually give them a chance. Right. Now. I think I might be even uh, cooking up some controversy by saying this, but I don't think that the demonetization, the, that demonetization was a failure. The way it was implemented might not have been the best. And yes, I understand. They were still in their first term. There were a lot of things that they had to learn. But if they hadn't done it as, as, as quickly as they did, they, it probably would never have happened. Right. And what are the implications of that? Again, I will bring my startup entrepreneurial perspective to the table here and say today, you have to that. Now, I will let me not go back go yet. Touch the common man. Yeah. Well, billion dollar companies that have that have sprung out of that single decision. Not just fintech companies. The amount of commerce that exists in the country today, the amount of billions of dollars flowing into the startup ecosystem from outside the country, is because today everything is accountable. Mm -hmm before demonetization has had the had uh, the comfort of walking out of your home without a wallet right, right? And, and i don't even care i don't even I, I just need my phone i can walk into taj west end i can go to a tela guy and buy one kg of uh, mango right all of them will still accept a certain mode of payment and so yes. as i a lot of these things are long term, right? You need sufficient time for things to play out. Even with the monetization plan, the reason I linked it to this is all those naysayers are, as the opposition has to do, is always going to look for things that didn't work. But if they just look at the things that did, you will be astonished as to what all it has done for people. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content, and to support our work, please visit. C-I-T-T-I dot net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.